Hello, my awesome and welcome to the Sarsicles TV. You have me, Mark, and welcome to a uh, nice, relaxing. Uh, what day is it? <laughs> Wednesday, I believe. Yeah. Whew, it's hard to track time when you are on a holiday or you know weekend. But yeah, uh, I hope everyone is safe and from wherever you are, uh, with the company of your family, friends, and or uh, loved ones. So what we have here is a recommendation from Thomas. Uh, he recommends Amira Willikagen and the song How Great Thou Art. Um, I, I uh, usually uh, listen and react to uh, Christmas songs every uh, December, but uh, I didn't saw the, the, the part of the title Christmas 2019, but I guess the, the, the song is not re necessarily a Christmas song. It was just performed uh, during uh, or within the Christmas week or holiday, you know. But let's see and find out because this will be, I guess, just judging from the title, will be my first time hearing the song. I may have heard it, but I wouldn't have known the title if ever. So before we give it a go, just a quick thank you to all our viewers, sponsors, subscribers, and members. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong support. Uh, tuloy tuloy lang po tayo. And without any further delays, let us give the song a go in 3, 2, 1.
and that is the end of the song. Wow, well deserved <clears throat> standing ovation for Amira. And uh, we can also see the uh, uh, the person who played the piano. I'm not. I'm, I actually don't know who it who it, who he is. Please leave it in the comments if uh, uh, for those who would who know. So there's no. So not not too much information in the uh, description. What's in my mouth? <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not sure if it shows in the video, but you know I'm actually perspiring, sweating like a pig, uh, as they say. See, it's not doesn't show, but you know the the shininess of my head is due to the sweat, and that's because I had something uh, relatively spicy. Uh, so earlier we were um, making some uh, pizza, you know, from, you know, like everything from the dough. So we, uh, it was uh, uh, prepared using flour and all those ingredients. So it's really from, from ground up. So we made some pizza and I also had some homemade uh, chili. Uh, what, 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 do, what do you call that? Chili oil or chili with oil, something like that. So. Uh, it's chili and then I added some so it's like dried uh, crunchy chili and then I, I actually have some chili plants outside uh, I had the I have the uh, the long ones bird's eye uh, chili and then I also have the uh, that, that viper head um, uh, we call it uh, ceiling demonio or devil's chili so I actually add that on top of the, uh, the those chili flakes there you go so I, I slice and dice it and then I fry it a bit just for it to become uh, a bit crunchy. And then I add those uh, chili flakes and then along with garlic and onions. So not, not necessarily, now, now that I'm mentioning all the ingredients, it's not in that order, but it does contain those ingredients. Plus a secret um, Sarsicles TV special uh, secret X ingredient that I added just to, just to give a more uh, flavor. Um, to the to it so um, I add chili and then banana ketchup so yes for those of you who don't know so here in the Philippines banana ketchup is a thing rather than uh, using tomatoes we use bananas and then the, the red it's still oh, it's also red in color probably because of the uh, food coloring that's being added if it were just banana I guess it would be somewhere around brownish yellowish in color so yeah, so that's why I'm sweating a lot. Uh, it's actually windy right now. So <laughs> anyway, we go back to the uh, discussion here. Uh, so the venue is in some sort of chapel. Uh, and I know this chapel because of the of Amira's outfit. I forgot the, uh, I, I guess this is one of, this was, uh, the venue is one of those, vid in one of those videos that I first watched Amira. And and I think the, there was even a portion there where the video was, camera was looking on to her parents. That's why I have a feeling that in, in terms of venue, this is not the first time I, I saw this venue where Amira performed. Maybe it's more, than, you know, second or thrice. So, uh, so it's in some sort of chapel. And as you can see, the, you can feel the Christmas vibes and also the warmness of the surrounding because of the lighting. I like the color combination. You know, there's this violetish, reddish, bluish uh, effect that is um, surrounding the the chapel, and the silence uh, adds to some some gives some level of um, solemnness. You know, in a relaxing form. Now, song wise, I did mention that I didn't think that this is a uh, Christmas song, but it is a uh, like some sort of a. Um, Reli uh, religious song performed in Christmas or Christmas week or Christmas season. So uh, as I listened to the song, yep, it, it felt like more of a a praise song, appreciation for of of God's word, uh, of His uh, creation of of art, uh, uh, or, or of, of His creation, which is referred to in the song as art. Uh, in terms of Amira singing, I like her. Um, singing here in terms of the warmness of her of her singing it goes well th with the ambience of the church you know having those nice red violet bluish um, lighting 
the uh, solemnness of the venue, you know, the, the sight, that warm, nice warm silence. Her, her voice just, you know, provides that blanket of warmth as you listen to the song. And you can also see based on the audience reaction, even the actually, even the, even the orchestra behind her uh, were, were uh, applauding, uh, applauding her, given that they are part of the performance, you know, they really love uh, Amira. And I can't agree any less, you know, she, she really is a, a force, you know, he, she is a presence uh, in, in this, um, in this event, in this performance, you know, um, especially the last part where, where she, where she uh, had that, it's not a belt really, but you know, prolonging that last, you know, it's, it's just heavenly to describe, uh, you know, if I'm to describe it in, in one word and, you know, uh, I don't see anyone not, you know, not digging this, this vibe. But I think if, if I were to, to choose, I would have listened to this in during the Christmas season. You know, it's, it, it's going to set up the, the mood here and, you know, we really, really get to feel the, or re at least relate um, to the video. But nevertheless, an epic performance. And there you have it. That is my reaction. Let me know what you think by leaving it in the comments. And if you haven't done it yet, these are the stuff you can do to show loving to our channel. Please do as many as you can. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about this article's TV. Sharing is caring. And most importantly, stay safe, everyone. I'll see you on the next video.